ஹாய் வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் எஸ் எம் எஜிடாக் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் எஸ் மல்லிகார்ஜுனன் ஐ ஹாவ் பீன் கிவிங் தி இன்ஜினியரிங் கிராஃபிக் லெக்சர் வீடியோஸ் இன் போத் தமிழ் அண்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் இன் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ப்ரொஜெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் பிளேன்ஸ் பார்ட் டூ வி ஹாவ் சீன் தி டிராயிங் ப்ரொசீஜர் ஆஃப் பிளேன்ஸ் வென் தே ஆர் இன் தேர்ட் பொசிஷன் அண்ட் டூ ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் இட் இன் திஸ் பார்ட் த்ரீ வீடியோ யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி தி டிராயிங் ப்ரொசீஜர் ஆஃப் எ பிளேன் வென் இட் இஸ் இன் ஃபோர்த் பொசிஷன் அண்ட் எ ப்ராப்ளம் இன் இட் Before entering into this video, watch the part 1 and part 2 videos for better understanding. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. Okay, let us move into the video. Position of planes and the stages. In projection of planes, the fourth position of the plane is inclined to both the planes it's not possible to imagine a plane when it is in this position that's why imagine the plane's position in three stages in stage 1 imagine the plane in simple position in stage 2 imagine the plane in inclined to one plane in stage 3 imagine the plane in inclined to the other plane in this stage that is stage 3 the plane is in the desired position and its both views appear as planes irrespective of its shape let us see this fourth position in detail as i said if you get a question from this position you have to draw the projections in three stages in stage 1 draw the plane in simple position when the object is in simple position the view which shows the true shape should be drawn first for example Now you are seeing the front view and the top view of your rectangular lamina. Top view has got the true shape. So top view should be drawn first followed by front view. Once front view and the top view have finished in stage 1, then we enter into stage 2. It represents the surface inclination of the object. Here the view which represents a non true shape in stage 1 should be rotated and drawn in stage 2 in this example front view has got the non true shape so it is rotated and drawn as front view in stage 2 then stage 2 front view and stage 1 top view are projected here to get the stage 2 top view once front view and top view have finished in stage 2 then we enter into the stage 3 it represents edge inclination of the object here the view which represents an apparent shape in stage 2 should be rotated and drawn in stage 3 in this example top view has got the apparent shape so it is rotated and drawn as top view in stage 3 then stage 3 top view and stage 2 front view are projected here to get the stage 3 front view always surface inclination should be done at stage 2 and edge inclination should be done at stage 3 we will see some more about this in detail surface of the lamina is inclined at 30 degree to hp this is a sample condition for surface inclination surface inclined means entire object is inclined you will get a clear idea after seeing this triangular lamina you can see that entire lamina is inclined at 30 degree to hp its front view is a line and top view is a plane one of its edges is inclined at 20 degree to hp this is a sample condition for edge inclination one of its edges is inclined is means any one edge is inclined not the entire object surface here you can see that one edge of the triangular lamina is inclined at 20 degree to hp its front view is a plane and top view is a line we'll see a problem an equilateral triangular lamina of 30 mm side lies with one of its edges on hp such that the surface of the lamina is inclined at 60 degree to hp the edge on which it rests is inclined at 60 degree to vp draw the projections it is given that triangular lamina is kept inclined to both the planes as it is fourth position 
we have to draw the projections in three stages we will get the required projections in stage 3 in stage 1 we have to draw the simple position of the lamina in stage 2 the surface of the lamina should be inclined to the specified reference plane let us check what is given in the question about surface inclination surface of the lamina is inclined at 60 degree to hp that is inclination is given to hp to draw this you have to draw the simple position in stage 1 refer this table to find the simple position and the true shape position for inclined to hp condition the simple position is given as parallel to hp and the true shape is obtained in top view in stage 3 the edge of the lamina should be inclined to the specified reference plane it is given that the edge on which it rests is inclined at 60 degree to vp that is inclination is given to vp you know that true shape should be drawn first so you have to draw the top view first followed by front view now you know that top view is a triangle but in what orientation the top view should be drawn there are many orientations i will explain one by one this triangle is drawn by keeping its top edge parallel to xy line this triangle is drawn by keeping its bottom edge parallel to xy line this triangle is drawn by keeping its left edge perpendicular to the xy line this triangle is drawn by keeping its right edge perpendicular to the xy line but no edge of this triangle is parallel or perpendicular to xy line all edges are kept inclined to xy line you have to choose any one orientation among these five which one fits into our condition let us see it is given that the lamina lies with one of its edges on hp so please find which triangle has the edge on its left but except the third triangle all the other triangles have corners on the left hence we select the third triangle to draw now i will explain how to draw a triangle the triangle that we selected has been drawn by keeping its left edge perpendicular to xy line in the same way you have to draw the triangle first draw a thin vertical line with a length of 30 mm name it as a and c the included angle of a triangle is 60 degree so draw a thin line from point c which is inclined upward at 60 degree similarly draw a thin line from point a which is inclined downward at 60 degree both the lines are intersecting at point b join all the three points by a thick line you get an equilateral triangle a b c there is one more method to draw the triangle in this method also draw a thin vertical line with a length of 30 mm name it as a and c as it is an equilateral triangle all its side lengths are equal so take the side length 30 mm as radius and draw an arc by keeping point a as center also draw another arc by keeping point c as center with the same radius you will get a point b at the intersection of two arc join all three points by a thick line you get an equilateral triangle a b c now let us see how to draw front view and top view of the triangular lamina at first draw a reference line x y based on a convenient method described before draw a triangle with a side length of 30 mm below the x y line no name is given to the triangle in the question so assign a name a b c to the triangle this is the top view of the stage one project this triangle vertically upwards to the x y line join the intersection points of the projectors horizontally by a thick line this is the front view of the stage one now let us see how to assign a name to the front view you get the front view when you look at the top view from here you can see the triangles front corner points c 
and B. They are visible points, but the point which is straight behind the point C, that is point A, is invisible. Hence, the name of the line's left end should be written as C dash bracket A dash, because here C is a visible point and A is an invisible point. Similarly, the name of the line's right end should be written as B dash, because here B is a visible point. Now, let us see how to draw front view and a top view in stage 2. It is given that the triangular lamina is inclined at 60 degree to HP. So, rotate the non-true shape that is front view of stage 1 and draw it as stage 2 front view. Mark a point anywhere on the XY line next to stage 1 drawing. This is the left end point of stage 2 front view named C1 dash bracket A1 dash. Draw a thick line from that point which is inclined upward at 60 degree with a length equal to stage 1 front view. This is the front view of stage 2. Front views of both the stages are same except orientation. That's why you are using the same length for the stage 2. The other end point of this front view line is B1 dash. To draw the top view in stage 2, project the end points of stage 2's front view downwards and project the corner points of stage 1's top view to your right. Now, these vertical projection lines and horizontal projection lines are intersecting each other and three intersection points are created. That is A1 dash line and A line intersect here and create a point A1. B1 dash line and B line intersect here and create a point B1. And C1 dash line and C line intersect and create a point C1. Join these three points by a thick line. You get a top view in stage 2. The size of this triangle is smaller than the previous triangle. That's why it is called an apparent shape. Now let us see how to draw front view and top view in stage 3. It is given that the edge on which it rests is inclined at 60 degree to VP. Find which edge that the lamina is used to rest and look at this front view. Here the point C1 dash A1 dash formed an edge. That edge has a contact with HP. It is clearly seen in top view that is the edge CA is resting on HP. So, Rotate this apparent shape that is top view of the stage 2 by rotating the edge CA and draw it as stage 3 top view. So next to stage 2 drawing from XY line draw a thin line which is inclined downward at 60 degree. Now we have to keep this edge on this inclined line. It means we are rotating this apparent shape by rotating the edge CA at 60 degree. So mark a point anywhere on this line. It is named as A2. You can see that the points A1 and C1 lie on the same line in stage 2 top view. Based on that, we have to mark the points A2 and C2 on the same line. So draw an arc with point A2 as center and A1 C1 as radius. It cuts the inclined line at point C2. Next, draw an arc with point C2 as center and C1 B1 as radius. Similarly, draw another arc with point A2 as center and A1 B1 as radius. It cuts the previous arc at point B2. Join these three points by a thick line. You get a top view in stage 3. To draw the front view in stage 3, project the corner points of stage 3's top view and project the end points of stage 2's front view. Now, these vertical projection lines and horizontal projection lines are intersecting each other and three intersection points are created. That is, A2 line intersect with A1 dash line and a point A2 dash is created. B2 line and B1 dash line are intersecting each other and a point B2 is created. 
similarly c2 line intersect with c1 dash and create a point c2 dash join these three points by a thick line you get a front view in stage 3 the front view and a top view obtained in stage 3 are the required projections of the given triangular lamina drawing is finished you should use thick lines only for drawing the front view and the top view of all three stages all the other lines and arcs should be drawn by thin lines don't forget to do dimensioning in the next video i will explain the fourth problem in this same position that is inclined to both the planes if you have not subscribed the channel yet support me by subscribing don't forget to click the bell icon by doing so you will get the notifications regularly also share this video to your friends thank you